Scout Committee. Uh, and I just want to first start by reminding us all of what it means to be a member of World Scouting. All of you in your uniform, you wear the same round purple badge that I'm wearing, and every other scout around the world wears this same round purple badge with the world crest on it. This means that you are a member of the World Scouting Movement, and you have over 57 million brothers and sisters in scouting in over 174 countries all around the world. I bet there's not too many of your friends in school that can say that they're part of a movement of over 57 million friends like all of you are. So I just want you to know how special it is. When you think about that for a minute, just like what you're doing here today, other young people are doing in every other country around the world. They're just speaking in different languages. They have different cultures. They're wearing slightly different uniforms, but they're all united through scouting and to all of you. They enjoy the same things that you do, learning about leadership skills, about camping in the outdoors, about the, the sustainable development goals and how important it is to work to protect the planet from climate change because all of you are the ones who will inherit this planet one day and you should never forget that. I also want to remind you on the, the purple badge you all wear, around it is a rope. And that represents the unity of the movement and your connection to all of your brothers and sisters in scouting. So our main job in WASM is to help scouting grow in countries all around the world. And this is the main task of the World Scout Committee that I chair the board of. And it's been a true inspiration for me to see the growth and unity of scouting here in Nigeria over the past several years. And I want to commend the leadership of Nigeria for all your dedication to making this dream become a reality. You have much to celebrate. Congratulations. It's an exciting moment to be a, a part of World Scouting. 117 years ago, scouting began with the first ever camp on Broughton Sea Island in the United Kingdom. And 117 years later, here we are together, still standing. And scouting today is more relevant than it has ever been before when you look at all of the issues that our world is facing, whether it's natural disasters or man-made conflicts. It shows that the world needs scouting today more than it ha ever has before. And it needs all of you to be the leaders of this world that we inhabit. But we have to keep showing flexibility and innovation to ensure that scouting remains modern and relevant for all of you and that we provide an attractive educational offering for all of the young people that deserve scouting. Before I go, I want to leave you with some inspirational words from the founder of World Scouting and the first ever Chief Scout of the World, Lord Baden Powell. He said, be content with what you have got and make the best of it. Look on the bright side of things instead of the gloomy one. The real way to get happiness is by giving happiness to other people. Try to leave this world a little better than you found it. And when your turn, when your turn comes to die, you can die happy in feeling that at any rate, you have not wasted your time, but you have done your best. In closing, I want to give a special thank you to all the adult leaders that volunteer your time and your treasure to ensure young people have access to the transformational experience that scouting is. You are helping to create the new generation of active citizens, creating a positive change in their communities and in the world. So on behalf of the entire World Scout Committee, we are sending you all our best wishes because we all know that the future of the world is bright with all of you leading the way. Thank you. Of scouting. And we have evidence that proves in every continent of the United States that young, uh, sorry, every continent of the world, sorry my jet lag, uh, that young people who go through scouting later in life, they're much more likely than their peers are to have a better job 
to be more stable in their family. They're more likely to have a better formal education. They're more likely uh, to make more money uh, throughout life. And they're more likely uh, to get along with other people because what we do in scouting, it cascades throughout their life. Because what we teach is team building. We teach young people how to get along with, with each other. And imagine if all of the leaders of the world today had been involved in scouting and knew how to get along with each other, where we would be right now.